I've resisted for years, but finally I've decided to plump for a GoPro. I've spent all these years using my mobile phone and I thought it's time for a change. It's time for an upgrade, hopefully. So let's see how this goes. We're at Torbay car boot sale. It's a Sunday morning. It's dead on 6 a.m. So let's see what we can find today. I'm going to take a place, is that right? Yeah, it's fine, mate. Present for you, Chris. That's some... Oh, you keep them, they're both complete. Oh, thanks, mate. You're a good one. That's great. What have you got on all your all your ball things? Um, three quid each. Three quid each. Yeah, I do all, all five for a tenner for you, mate. Oh, that's for the two Lovely. That one's that one's pretty good. Cause Thomas Smith are obviously gone bust. Um, the money's a bit sort of yeah. shitty in that, but. Um, I think there might be a couple of pieces missing on that, so you're probably looking okay. at resale, maybe 25, 10, 15. No, that one surprisingly it goes for about a tenner. Lovely, thanks mate. Well, is this complete? Uh, it should be, yeah, have a look. So what do you want on all these? Uh, let's do 15 quid for the okay. lot, Okay, yeah, I'll do that, mate. Uh, it, it varies, but you're 52 pound, two pound for some. Depends which ones, like these older PC ones are 50p. Yeah. Uh, that's that's all the ones I had. I just had two of those ones. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Okay. Uh, let's do a quid each, quid each, mate. Yeah. There we go, Chris. Thanks, Pat. We expect to see that in your next YouTube. Oh, yeah, definitely. It'll be on. Give Lisa a shout out. Lisa, I'll come <laughs> <Lisa, I'll tell laughs> What you got in your PS1s? Oh, yeah, no, right. idea. no idea, <laughs> you're just setting them up. Yep. Let's do 18, mate. I'll meet you somewhat in the middle, yeah. Oh, I'll do that. Um, Good man, I've got, I've got change from here if you need it. Yeah, yeah, of just course, have, mate. Just have a quick, quick Take your time, buddy. How much are your PS1s, Sam? Uh, two quid each. Just hang on to them and I'll, I'll come back to you in a moment. Hang on to him, he says. All right, Chris. There you go. <laughs> Chuck him straight back at him. Oh, yeah, these ones have got the PR 50 mate. 18 pounds, 15 pounds. Most of them, there's a few, few left here. Uh, it depends, like these ones are priced at two, the PS4 
Yeah. I've got a Nintendo Wii console and I've got two bags of Islanders in the car, like small bags with the portal on the like three points for a bag. Alright, mate. Any more PS ones or uh, anything else like that? Very good question. I've got lots of anime and now lots of manga. But there you go. Gosh, you got loads. Yeah, yeah, put them to one side. Put them to one side. Have a look. Right. Stick them with the other ones, right? Yeah. I thought I wouldn't jump in. Yeah, it's okay. No, it's fine, mate. It's fine. I've done on there. It is. Thanks, <laughs> but I do next one. Each on there, mate. Sam? Yeah, hello. Just grab your um, PS1s out of there and I'll have a look. Top that lot up for me with the others and yeah. tell me what you want. Alright, mate. today with all this stuff. Yep. Yeah, absolutely swamp. That's a good thing. Uh, about 40 quid mate for everything. You've got those as well. Yeah, just call it 40 mate. Right, yeah, take it. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Absolutely. Cheers, boy, nice. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. Right, Put your bag, didn't you? Yep. What's the best one? Uh, Twenty-five. Yeah, I know. I think I'm going to stand here for the morning. Oh, I've got 
How much are your runes? Runes? Two quid. Two quid. Can I have a look? I'm yeah. oh, sorry, I don't want to step no. over. No, it's okay. Thank you. Is it all there, do you know? Yeah, I've never, I bought it and never used it. Okay, I'll take that, thank you. Uh, they all vary, really. How much are they for you, love? Those ones are £3. And the uh, other one? They're Steve Madden's, they're 7 Yeah. Thank you. These ones? Yeah, um, and you never wore them, so they're brand new enough to watch. They're seven. Never seen anything like those before. No. What did she say was on him? Seven. Seven. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're very How much is your Xbox? <laughs> 25. Would you be interested at a fiver? Fiverr? Is that all right? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Cheers. Um, I don't think... You've not got any change? No, sorry. Okay, let me see what I've got. Um, I'm pretty low now. I had it changed. What I was supposed to bring this morning. Yeah, I forgot, yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four... Five. There you go. Well, you got a bit of change at least. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. You. How much is that one, please? Three pounds. Have you got any more like that? You tagged ones. Is that all of them? Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you. Sir. No, uh, yeah. Well, five on those two? No, because that's that's well worth it. Okay. You know what I mean? They are good toys. So that one, three pound as well? Yeah. Uh, that one's tagged as well. Okay, is that a pyjama case? Yeah. Sorry. Well, have the three for a ten if you want. I'll just take this one first. Right, Thanks. Then. Cheers. Okay. Oh. Do you want for a fiver then? Uh, yeah, That's go it. on. Go on then. Yeah. Cheers. There you go. Thank you. Might as well. Otherwise, I can load a bit more on counter. Yeah. No worries. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.
every two. Depends what you want, yeah. Mm. How much are these, please? What about your kites? Um, pound each. <sighs> I'll take those please. Okay. Thank you. There's some more shoes. Oh, okay, I'll have a look. There's ten. Have you got change? Yeah. Thank you. How much is the pillow? Thank you. How much is that one? Pound back there. Cheers. I'll take these ones, thanks mate. Yeah, cool. There's a fiver there. Thank you, cheers. How much are your boots? Um, which ones? Uh, either uh, or. They're a tenner. They, are they haven't been used despite the markings on. We've yeah, been having long feet. Um, and then ones would be uh, 15, I'll let 15. them go for now. How much is that one, please? Have you got anything else, Jurassic Park? Or... Uh, I think most of it's gone, actually, to be honest. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Perfect, thank thank you. you. Hey, welcome back. And wow, what a haul that I've picked up today um, from Torbay Car Boot Sale. And a lot of it thanks to Sam. So Sam is a part-time reseller probably a bit of a hoarder sam i have to admit if you're clearing out that much stuff but i've seen sam quite a lot um at the various boot sales uh, mostly the torbay ones um and we always stop and have a good chat so um he's did me some great deals today on his store but people were swarming around his store because he had some amazing stuff tons of games loads of retro stuff i didn't really even have time to get through everything because people were swarming and taking this and that and the other doing deals and bungles and all sorts but good for Sam because he's going to sell a lot of stuff um, but it must have been hard it must have been hard to let things go so cheap anyway listen we'll come to the stuff that I picked up from Sam in a bit I'm going to go through everything else first so I'm going to make you wait 
Um, let's try and get through it quickly. There's a lot here. So I picked up these two really nice um, Harry Potter, probably vintage, 2001. So um, yeah, vintage kites. And I paid one pound each for these. And actually, I there's only one, I think there's one listed at forty pound. Really, forty pound for Harry Potter kite? Wow, must be in high demand. Um, I can't find much else about them or anything listed. So who knows? Thirty to forty pound each. That would be a real nice result on those. Um, Crystal Maze board game. I've not checked if it's complete or not. This was a pound as well, but hopefully 20 on that. Whoopsie daisy. Um, what else did we get? Oh, this is nice. I've never, I, you don't often see Avatar toys, but look at this one. This is 2005, I think. Mattel Avatar toy. Um, I think I paid up for it. I paid four pound on it. Um, I think 15 to 20 on that toy. Um, on the uh, similar kind of theme, Jurassic Park, I can never refuse a nice Jurassic Park toy. That was one pound and um, probably looking at uh, 15, 15 for that. Some of these prices are guesstimates. Some um, I've checked and some I've not even checked at all. So I'm not gonna give you prices on some of it. You'll understand why in a minute. Um, this was a nice Adidas Originals jacket. Sorry, you probably can't see it properly. But yeah, nice one that. Um, four pound on that one. And um, probably, probably around the 30 pound mark for that. Now look at these bad boys. I've seen somebody else pick these up in the past. These are nice. I've got to check them to make sure. But actually, they look like they've barely been worn. Um, these are Adidas safety boots. They've got the steel toe caps in them. And look at the neon fluorescent colour. Uh, Adidas safety. I'm sure I've seen someone else pick these up. Let me know if you know who that is. It could have been Brum Reseller. He often picks up stuff like this. But I just thought these have got to be worth it. They are originals. They've actually still got the tag on them, so they've not really been worn at all. Um, I paid a fiver for them, and um, oh, I just noticed a little mark on there. So little mark, it's not the end of the world. Um, there's not much in the way of solds, but someone's got one listed at one hundred and fifty pound, and someone's got one at ninety eight pound. Um, so could be worth a hundred squids on that. Mental. Now another pair of shoes here. These are Nike Air Jordans, a uh, UK size 13. So these are really big ones. Look at the size of them. I really need to check these over because he was selling them, I think, for three pound. And I was a little bit suspicious. They look genuine. You know, they look, they look legit, but I'm just thinking, is there some dummy somewhere that I haven't seen? You know, I've done the Ben test and all that stuff. So I've got to check those over if they're good to go. £50 on those. Um, we've got some plush toys, of course, as always. Um, £5 for the pair. That one, These are both tagged still. That one may be £10 to £12. And this one uh, was originally £25 from the Disney store. Uh, that could be £20 to £25 on that. Um, what else do we have? These were nice. Ice skates. Another pair of ice skates. I've got about four pairs. Whoops, a daisy. That something broke? Maybe. Um, but they look the part. I mean, look at them. They are absolutely immaculate. Bauer um, Light Speed Pro 2 with the safety bit on the bottom. But they are great. Um, I think. Five or six pound, I'd have to check the video again. Five or six pound for those. And um, prices, very hard to find. There's a lot of these on. Uh, there's a lot of solds as well. I'm thinking 40 to 50 pound on those. 
Uh, what else do we have? We've got this. Uh, this rune set. I'll always pick up stuff like this. Sort of uh, runes and tarot cards and stuff. Um, and what did I pay for it? £2? So I'm hoping to get back 15 on that. I am rattling through these because I've got a lot of stuff to share with you. I don't want you to get bored, so stay with it. We've got a ton of PS1 games coming up, if that helps you stay. Um, now these are not Mountain Warehouse, uh, but they are Regatta Great Outdoors boots, uh, women's boots. Um, I paid up really um, because I bought these along with these Dickies boots. So I paid £20 for the pair, so £10 each. I only think these are going to be worth £25. And uh, the Dickies, I really thought would be worth more money. But they're not really. But they are in brand new condition, which will definitely help them sell. Absolutely immaculate. Um, probably £30 on those, which I was surprised about. Hence the reason I paid £10 each for them. This is a bit of a wild card. Um, it's this little set of Chinese... Um, kind of child kung fu shaolin whatever figures these little figures there's one two three four five six seven there's eight in there all in the nice presentation box although the box looks like it has been taped there now um, i paid 10 pound for these i just thought they were a bit unusual she wanted 12 i paid 10. Um, now i found one of the figures on ebay and it's listed at 20 pound for one figure so that might give me an indication that this actually, this set could be worth some good money. So even if I split these up and do £20 each, that's 160 quid. I'm not convinced I'm going to get that, but there is some listed at 20 A bit hard to find, but I always like a bit of a wild card. And that one is definitely today's wild card. And what else do I have? That's in there. Right, I've got a wee bundle. And part of me wishes I'd never picked this up. I paid £30. And what I got was... I can't get it all out. There's too much here. I've got a Wii Fit board. I've got a load of accessories. The console itself, of course. A couple of controllers. All the power pack, everything is in there. So I've got that. Now, I've also got this bungle of games in a sketches box. Um, so there is like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. There's 16 games there. I don't think there's any bangers. I mean, the Super Mario Galaxy 2, that could be worth something. Band Hero, Rock Band, uh, Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, I think they're all fairly bog standards. Um, but there's 16 of them in there, so I could bungle some of those up. Also, which is down here, I've got all the bits and pieces for a rock band. So I've got the guitar, that's not all of it, there's more bits in there. So I've got the guitar, I've got the drum kit, and I've got the microphone. So I think that makes up the rock band. I wish I'd not bought it because this is going to be a pain to deal with. But the whole shaboodle was 30 quid. Surely I can't go wrong with that. I can probably sell the Wii with a few games for 30 quid and everything else is gravy. Apologies if you were getting a bit of a noise there. Belle decided she was going to have a shower while I was making the video. Let's crack on. Um, I picked up this Dymo um, label printer. Oh, the lady was lovely. She actually said to me, oh, I'll, I'll send you in the post all, all the reels of stuff that you get with it, the printer label stuff. I just said, oh, don't worry about it. It was cheap enough. I paid £2 for it. Um, and I think this is worth about 15 in its current form. She said it's fully working. But yeah, she did. She offered to send a load of stuff out in the post. I wasn't going to do that. Um, right. Everything now, from this point onwards, was on Sam's store um, that you saw right at the beginning. So much good stuff. 
um, and he did me some great prices. Let's just go through all this. Okay, let's start off with the bigger stuff. So we've got this Leap TV by Leapfrog. Um, he threw in this extra controller thing with it. It didn't come with the extra one, it only comes with one, so this is, an, this is a good extra. Um, and I think this, I've got to figure out how much everything costs because there was a lot of bungles being done. You know what I mean? So I've got to break it all down. Um, so Leap TV, I think this was about £2. And um, I think with the extra controller, 25 maybe £30 on that. Now, this is something I thought was worth a bit more, but I've not picked one up for a long time. Atmosphere, the board game, we all know it. The one who holds the lowest number. Yes, you! Answer me, you maggot! The price of this worked out around two to two, two to three pound because it was part of a bungle deal. So, um, only worth about a tenner. I wasn't, I was surprised at that, really. Um, King Kong Skull Island game. Um, this one uh, cost two pound. I think it's worth about twelve. Now here's a surprise. This Hello Kitty Monopoly might be worth a bit of money, and um, the prices though, the solds, the listeds, they're all over the show. It could be anything from ten to forty pound. It's mental. So um, this was part of a bungle. So it cost me two to three pound, and could bring me twenty to twenty five if I go right in the middle there. Um, Captain America Risk game again, two to three pound cost price, fifteen pound maybe. This Turtles game, I just bought it for nostalgia really. Sam did say that um, it. Maybe missing some parts, but I couldn't leave it behind. Raphael is cool, but rude. It's not worth a lot of money at all, which surprises me. Um, it's gonna, it's cost me two to three pounds, but I might only get five to six on it. Spares and repairs. Um, Pokemon Jigsaw, you've got to pick that up, haven't you? Hopefully, it's complete. Um, I reckon it'll be. Uh, about £15 and it cost me two to three in that bungle. Another one from the bungle is uh, this Thomas Cook edition Monopoly. This is an interesting one. Um, it's got no barcode on it. So this is like a promotional Monopoly, I think. I don't know if this was actually ever retailed. In fact, it says not for retail sales. So there you go. So this is some kind of promotional Monopoly. Um, so this is... Maybe £25 on that one. Uh, another risk here. This one's probably worth about 15 Again, this was £2 to £3. And um, very, very kindly, he gave me these for free. These, He said these are complete. So it's Premier League 97 sticker book. Um, I'll have a scan through it, but there's 97 and then there's 96. wonder... If they are complete. Um, again, sold and completed on these are a bit random. Um, it's hard to say what these are worth, but he gave them me for nothing, which was very kind, so thank you very much. Um, they're all over the show. If you've got the binders, they're worth more money. So maybe 20 quid each, if I was to guess right now. Um, okay. That's one bag done. We're on to the final bag. I'm sorry it's been such a long video. I hope you've found it interesting. Um, Warhammer Chaos book. I think this worked out at about a pound. So worth about eight to ten. So not massive money in it. A couple of plush toys. This is a good one. Mighty Mouse. Here he comes to save the day. And he will prove that crime will never pay. So let the trumpet players play. One pound, worth about 15 probably. Here's Bam Bam from the Flintstones. That's a nice one, never seen one of these before. Cost price uh, was a pound, again, roughly 15 pound on that. Um, some Simpsons stuff. 
We've got a Bart Simpson alarm clock. Um, these three, let's have a look. These, these were one pound each. Um, and I reckon they're probably worth about ten pound each. So you've got the alarm clock there. And what else have we got? Two figures. We've got Homer and Krusty the Clown. Uh, so they're probably about £10 each as well. So there's a nice little bit of profit. I don't mind buying something for a pound and, and selling it for 10 I'll do that all day long. These are not worth as much as what I thought. Um, these Nerf Gun um, Nintendo Switch cases. Brand new in box. What did I pay Sam for these? Um, I think I paid £2 for each of these. Um, in reality, I think I might be able to get £8 each back. So there's profit, but not a huge profit. But to be fair, I've made plenty of, of money by now on the rest of this stuff, which has been great. Um, this is a backpack, and I actually bought this thinking of myself, really. I might keep this backpack. I've not found anything sold completed or listings. It's made by Raydu, so no idea whatsoever on the brand. Can't find anything. But I think this was two pound, and it's quite a nice little utility backpack. I might keep that myself. If I was gonna list it, I'd probably put it up at, uh, at 10 to 15 pound. Before we get to all the gaming stuff, um, let's do some figures. Uh, now he gave me this one for free, and it's actually really good. It's Sack Boy from Little Big Planet. Um, so yeah, it gave me that for free, and it does have some decent value. Probably worth about fifteen squidders, which you can't grumble at. Also, this um, werewolf, I think it's Doctor Who. Um, cost price was, I think, one to two pound, one to two, maybe a pound. Um, probably worth a tenner. And this guy, um, Shark something or other, Street Sharks. He gave me it for free. I mean, very, very generous. Thank you. What year is it? 95. Um, possibly worth, I don't know. 10 to 15, maybe, for a freebie, you can't grumble. Um, a couple of card games here. We've got Sleeping Queens. Um, that's probably worth about a tenner. Cost price was a uh, pound. So yeah, worth about 10 pound, that one, Sleeping Queens. And the Rick and Morty is a good one. This is a little card game, Total Rickall. Um, again, cost price was a pound. Worth about 15 on that one. And I picked up a load of little uh, cartridges for your Game Boys. This bundle of cartridges worked out by the time I'd split everything up. About four to five pound for the whole bundle. So there's two Pokemon Pinball uh, Game Boy games here. They're missing the battery covers, but I'm sure we can sort something out about those or just sell them as is. Um, so, you know, the, this is £4 a lot. Um, there's a Disney Dinosaurs, Game Boy, uh, F1 Race. Uh, these are Game Boy Advance ones. That's a Sonic Advance 3. Uh, another Disney Dinosaur. This is a uh, Leapfrog Leap TV. Oh, that might go with that other Leap thing that I've got. Didn't even know that was there. Shrek 2 for the advance. What else have we got here? Uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone cartridge. These are all cartridge only. Uh, that's Lilo and Stitch for the advance. Uh, in there is a Shark Tail for the advance. Four quid, four to five pound. Ants for the Game Boy. Some of these I might keep for my own little collection. Ice Age for the advance. And uh, what's this? The Incredibles for the advance. A lot of them in these little protective cases, which is nice. Four quid for that lot. Cannot grumble at that. These are unusual. Uh, these Memorex 60, um, they're like uh, recordable 
eight millimeter reels or something like that. Um, I struggled a bit to find these, but I did find one. I think Sam charged me like a pound each on these or something. Um, they could be worth like 15, 20 pound. So that's all right, but they're unusual. There's not many of those about. Now then, onto the PS1 games in a second, but how often do you see a GameCube game? Not very often. I, I don't think I've ever bought a GameCube game at a car boot sale, but um, this one and all the PS1 games you're about to see cost 40, no, 37 pound because I split a couple of other bits off. So 37 pound on these games. So that includes that GameCube game. I've not checked the comps listed or anything. There's too many here. I just wanted to get this video done for you. If you know of any of the prices of these games, or if there's any particular bangers, then please drop a comment. I'll go through these real quick, but a lot of them are in good condition. Um, so we've got Bugs Life, Army Men Air Attack, uh, another Bugs Life one, some uh, activity center or something. Scooby Doo. <laughs> Don't say anything. Star Wars Phantom Menace. Another Army Men game. Uh, Gran Turismo 2. 007 Racing. I've not seen that one around for a while. Uh, Assault. Hopefully you can see these. Um, Heart of Darkness. What is that one? Is that PC? Do I have to check that one? That might be a PC game. Um, uh, all these as well. This is £37 for this bundle of games. Fighting Force 2. E.T. If you need any of these for your collection, please drop me a line. We can sort something out before I put these on eBay. Lego Racers, Dancing Stage, Dance UK. So a few dance ones. I'll probably bungle these together when I sell them. Um, that one. Uh, Apocalypse. Siphon Filter 2. I've sold that one before. I think that one might hold a little bit of value. Ace Combat 3. I picked these up so quickly when he was putting them out that I didn't really even check them. I just thought for the price that he was doing me on them, you know, I didn't check them or anything. Um, I just thought, how often do I get the chance to pick up PS1 games? Um, and it's not very often at all. And some of these look half decent. Cool Borders 4. There was lots of other stuff on there as well. There was PS2, PS3, Xbox. Um, but I couldn't get everything because people were literally going crazy because he had such a lot of good stuff. Um, what's this? Monsters Inc. A lot of these will bungle together to do a bit of a deal for people on the old eBay touring car. Toka touring car. I had that one when I had my PS1. Rugrats. Still going. Um, Spec Ops. Oh, what's that? Another Lego one, Rock Raiders. Maybe the Lego ones could go together. And the last lot here. Uh, what have we got? We've got Driver 2. Some great condition, some of these. Really great condition. Colony Wars. Because what you find with PS1 games is the boxes are knackered a lot of the time. Uh, Ratatat. Hot Wheels. Uh, dancing Stage, another dancing one. Another another double 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 oh seven. Uh, what else we've we got? Mickey's Adventures. I think I've sold that one before. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, Heart of Darkness. Another Phantom Menace. And a SmackDown two, but no front cover on that, which is another common thing. Uh, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. I very rarely pick up PS one games. Because I'm normally the last one there. Wow, that is everything. That was a lot today. Thank you for bearing with us. If you made it to this point in the video, I must be doing something right. So at least give us a thumbs up. 
and don't forget to subscribe if you do like these kind of videos the pickups the car boot videos and stuff um drop us a comment let us know what you think of this lot and a big big thank you to sam who did me some amazing deals on this stuff and hopefully um, we'll meet again soon and do some more deals you know what i'm talking about anyway that's all we've got time for this week but we'll be back with you next week so stay tuned won't you otherwise we'll miss you